Welcome to Stride University. This is part two of our um, change in, in delivery order uh, series. And in this one, we're going to go over how to uh, create the, the refund and the accounting entries so that the inventory is decremented the correct uh, amount. So if you remember from the previous video, we had to uh, take these, both of these items were at actually uh, four, the, the the customer purchased four of these from the website each, but then they, they changed their mind and only needed three, or there was only three available, and they asked to, to just be, just get a refund and, and shipped what, what was available. Um, so uh, that, that's been done. You can see that invoice has been, or the email has been sent out, and uh, that order has been shipped. So now that that's been shipped, we can go in and, and issue the refund. You can't issue the refund until the order has been been shipped. So um, what we can do now is we can actually go back to our original source document of uh, sales order 191. And I'm already in the sales module, so you can see up here, I can go back on my breadcrumb here to sales order 191. And you'll notice now that I have a delivered quantity of three, but they were invoiced for four. So I'm going to go ahead and create an invoice. And um, we're going to go ahead and create and view that invoice. And so now you can see um, the invoice. There's been a credit note made, and it's in draft state. So we're going to go ahead and open that up. And when I hit confirm, it will it will confirm this uh, this draft credit note. So I'm going to go ahead and confirm that. And now it's going to get it and give us an, a number, a return invoice, you know, number number nine or whatever. So um, that that's uh, fixed the inventory, but now we need to make sure that uh, our uh, customer gets a refund. So we can go in here to payment transaction, and I, I just want to show you here real quick. This number is important, forty six ninety five. So because that's the amount that we need to refund. So we're going to go payment transaction, and you can see this is the transaction detail. We're going to create a, a refund. It's only a partial refund, and it's for the 46, oops, 95. So we're going to go ahead and, and process that refund, and we're good to go there. It's It's been processed, so we put, put back on their card, ended in 1111. And now if we click back on our breadcrumb and come into this return invoice, you can see that there is, it kind of turns blue up, blue up here and gives you a note that says, hey, you have outstanding debits for this customer. You can allocate them to mark this credit note as paid. So we're just going to come right down here and add it. And that credit note is is good to go. And now it's in payment. And when it when the um, credit card statement comes through, that we can uh, we can reconcile all of these and... Uh, we are good to go on that uh, for that delivery order and the refund. So uh, you can see now these these numbers are no longer blue. That means they've all been completely invoiced and we're good to go. So uh, pretty simple process. If um, if you if you are in charge of doing both processes, then you can come in uh, starting the delivery order come into the sales order, make the changes in the quantities, and then uh, process the refunds if necessary. Now, if it's a one-for-one a -one swap, you won't need to uh, process the refund, but you will need to just go through the whole uh, thing to create those invoices so that the, the um, inventory is decremented at the, at the correct level and things are, are kept the way they should be. So... As always, if you have questions, feel free to reach out to us. We're, we're happy to, to help. You can access our documentation online at uh, strideretail.com backslash documentation. And there you can look at all of our different modules. And if you can't find what you're looking for, submit a request and we'll reach out to you. Thanks. Have a great day.